Now let's add an Express app to serve up our API. First we'll add the Narwhal Express plugin. Then we'll list out the options on the Narwhal Express app schematic using the dash dash help flag. We'll use the dash dash frontend project flag to add a proxy to our My Site app. We'll generate a Narwhal Express app with the name of API and tell it that the front-end project is My Site and put it in the root directory. Now let's look at the generated API. In the source folder, the main.ts file has one endpoint at slash API that returns a JSON object with a message property. Let's have our React app access this API. We'll import useState and useEffect from React and then wire those up to make the API call. Then let's display the API response in the component. Now let's serve the API and the React app. Now you can see in the Network tab that the API call is being made and the message is being displayed in our app. There's a problem with this approach though. Both the URL and the response type can get out of sync between the client app and the API. So let's create a plain TypeScript library that will hold that shared information. The Narwhal Workspace collection has a library schematic that makes a plain TypeScript library. We'll call it API Interface. Let's go into the API Interface file of that library and create an interface and an API URL constant. Now in our client app, we can import from our new library using the at myorg alias that NX configures for us. We'll import the API response interface and the API URL. Use state is of type API response. And here we'll use API URL instead of that magic string. Now let's do the same thing for the Express app. We'll explicitly type the server response, import what we need for the shared interface, and use the API URL constant. Now when we run nxdepgraph again, you can see that both the MySite client app and the Express API depend on the API interface TypeScript library. If this interface ever changes, both the API and the client-side app need to update to account for the new interface. I've committed my changes to Git, and you can see that my working directory is clean. I'm going to make a change to the API interface and you'll see that Git now knows about the changes to the files. Now we can run an affected dep graph And you see that NX knows that because we changed the API interface, the API is affected, as well as the MySite app and the MySite end-to-end -end app. So if we want to run a command on all the affected pieces of code, that command needs to be run against the API, API interface, MySite app, and MySite end-to-end -end app. You can run the NX affected command with any target command, like test, or build, or your own custom target with a dash dash target flag. We'll run NX affected test to make sure everything is still working after this change. You see that NX ran test against the API interface, against the MySite app, and against the API. NX skipped the MySite end-to-end -end app since that app has no test action configured for it in workspace.json. All our tests pass and we can submit this PR for code review.